some people are natural equalizers. They don't have to do any kind of effort and easily equalize to 20, 30 meters. Well, guess what? I am not one of them. And if you're not one of them, then this video might be interesting because I'm going to talk about my journey, which was kind of difficult, on how to properly equalize heads down. If you're new to this channel, my name is Gert Leroy, helping you master free diving. So I did my very first course with the Apnea Total, the headquarters in Koh Tao in Thailand. And guess what? I couldn't equalize head first. So they made me do the feet first uh, technique. So you hold on to the line with your feet and then you uh, try to equalize. And that is easier because, well, um, your world is not turned upside down. That is one thing. And second, air naturally goes up. So when air goes up, it's easier. It's more available here to equalize. Now, some people might say that is not the real way to equalize and you should learn how to equalize head first. And that is all true. But if you can't, then you can't, right? So you want to do your course, you want to free dive. And if you can't equalize, well, then basically it stops, you know, it can get very frustrating. So feet first is a nice technique, a nice way of getting the student going. So of course I tried every single technique. There is Valsalva, Frenzel, Swallowing, uh, whatever you can try, moving your jaw, nothing worked. It did work, however, feet first, but moment I turn around, head down, nothing worked. So I went into my advanced course. So in Apnea Total, you start with the free diver course, which is beginner's course, then the advanced course, and then the master course. Advanced course, I did 30 meters, feet first, but head first, still maximum maybe six, seven meters, few equalizations, and then it stopped. Now, in other free diving courses, um, they will probably not let you go to the next course because you have to do the requirement. And if you can't equalize head down to a certain depth, well, then basically it stops. You know, you have to keep on trying and trying and trying until you get it. Not under apnea total, they have a different system. So if they see there is potential in the students and they saw potential in me, guess what? Then they let you through and they let you pass uh, through the um, uh, next course, which in my case was the master course. So I went into the master course without being able to equalize head down, which in my opinion was a wonderful thing to do because if they would have not let me do that, I would have probably given up on free diving. I would have become frustrated and uh, asked myself like, hey, I'm spending all this money and this time on, on, on free diving. I can't equalize head down now, but later I will. And thankfully the system of Apnea Tolo understood that. So they let me um, start my um, master course. So I went all the way to 30, how much, 37, 38 feet first, try and try to um, equalize head first. And that just didn't work. So then I started uh, having coaching sessions with other people um, with different backgrounds so from whatever organization, ADA, SSI, whatever. And all of them were like, I'm going to make you equalize because they didn't teach you right. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, with my techniques, you'll be able to equalize. No, didn't work, didn't work. I tried several coaches. I tried several sessions. Nothing worked until suddenly, at some given moment, I figured it out, the frenzel. And from that moment on, it was easy easy peasy from that moment on when i knew how to do it when i knew how to frenzel equalize head first depth just came the road to 45 and 50 came pretty easily so the message i want to give you here in this video is to not become frustrated and give yourself time give yourself patience and find people find instructors who understand that who do not blindly follow their requirements and you have to do this and you have to do that. No, we're not in the army for Christ's sake. You're learning something that should be enjoyable. I mean, if you're doing something in your life that is not enjoyable, then what are you doing? I was a disaster. Maybe you're one, but that doesn't mean you'll be a disaster forever. Peace in every breath. <laughs>